off and on today. Okay. Figured I would uh, process some scrap, you know. As you've seen before, I uh, started stripping ACs again. And uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit of that. Got a few ACs to strip. Just wanted to show you the kind of stuff that uh, if you take the time, you know, to break these down, there's a lot of good stuff inside of them. Sometimes it could be a pain in the ass, but usually I just get the little window AC units. But um, the other day I got a uh, removal job to take out the whole central AC system in this house. Uh, that of course was the unit that sat outside. Uh, they had all the power shut off so all I had to do was hack off the wires and they didn't care they just wanted it gone. Cost six hundred dollars to run it per month so they had enough of that. This part was a little tough this was up in the attic the main, uh, you know, distribution box, I guess. I don't know. But that was laying up in the attic, and then copper pipe came all the way in from that unit and attached to that. And then it had all the duct work went all around the attic. That was, uh, that was out of the suck part of the job because it's all just light tin doesn't amount to anything but I had to take it all out of there so but I'm left with the good stuff here so usually uh, it's nice to have the space I can put it aside and uh, when I get around to it take them apart and uh, so you got a lot of stuff in here you got um, some copper you have these radiators here, which they call ACRs, which is uh, aluminum copper radiators, but you got to clean them up a little bit. Once you get them out, first of all, you know, you just take off all the screws you can see. It's usually what I do. Just rip off all the screws on the outside, and this whole, this whole sheet metal case just comes right off, slides right off. Of course, you got a little bit of plastic you're going to have to get rid of. Not a big deal for me because I can just take it to the dump uh, as normal trash. But um, So you will have to properly contain the gases that come out uh, when you cut that. When you cut one of those copper pipes, there's going to be charge that comes out of there. Um, so... After you do that, you take and you cut off all these little noodles. There's a couple of ways to do it. Some guys will cut here. Because see, there's a steel plate right here. They'll cut down here with a sawzall. And then just scrap that as like dirty copper with those noodles on there. But what I like to do is cut these right off. And then after that, you can just knock this metal plate right off. And uh, this is what it looks like when you're done. It's nice, clean aluminum and copper all running through that. And this is a whole separate price. Stack those up and save them up, and then you bring them in for a nice payday. Also in there, you're going to have an electric motor, of course for the uh, you know for the fan for the blower that's separate money uh, you'll find a few little brass pieces of course you're gonna find some copper wire throughout it that's separate uh, possibly some other little pieces of aluminum um, you're also gonna find the uh, the sealed compressor unit in there and that also There's a few of them in there. They're pretty heavy. Uh, there's copper in them, and they have like an oil inside of them. 
but um, that's also a separate price that you're going to weigh in. And then uh, all your little copper bits that you cut off, just put those in a bucket. And uh, that's all good stuff. Got all the wire in there. Aluminum. So, if you have the time, you have the patience. You can, uh, you know, break this stuff down and uh, make a couple of bucks, or you can just take that whole AC and just throw it right in as light scrap. And I've definitely done that because the price was uh, so good that just throw it in with the rest. Don't even bother. Wasn't really worth the time. Um, and of course, after you get done stripping it, you will have the, a lot of light metal to throw in with your uh, with your shred pile, as some people call it. Depends where you are, but it's basically light iron, light tin, whatever you want to call it. And of course, if you get a unit like this and you just scrap it like that, then uh, you're gonna you're gonna need to. Uh, figure out why you're so stupid because you wouldn't want to do that because I'll show you once I open up this there's going to be one of those radiators it's going to go all the way around so that's going to be nice not really sure what's in this uh, I did see a massive electric motor in there and I did see one radiator but I don't know. I've never uh, never stripped one of these right here, so uh, might as well take it apart and see what's in there. This is a miracle of time. There it is, blown apart. So you can see yeah, a little bit of trash there. You got your straight up scrap metal. Right there. A little bit of wire, not too much. It all adds up. Catch all those little pieces. There's your electric motor. There's your sealed compressor unit. Of course, I uh, already had a lot of copper in here, but you understand anyway. You get copper tubing out of there all these little macaronis add up keep them all and there's your clean ACRs of course that was just a small AC now on to the big mama well believe it or not it's uh, quite a bit easier take apart the big one rather than those little ones I don't know why it just seems to come apart easy use a lot more screws and uh, just uh, all the sides pop off and unfortunately a very rare instance is uh, giving me a kick in the nuts here this um, as you can see is all aluminum this coil very rare that you find one like that. Usually it's got the the uh, radiator like that with the copper in it goes all the way around. This one happens to have the big stupid aluminum coil. So not worth as much. Not even close. But got the big mama compressor there. electric motor got a lot of big copper out of that one and uh, of course left with the scrap Ooh, nice little surprise in there got a little teepee going on lots of copper nice also a couple of weird little chunks of aluminum pretty heavy 
a little bonus. Big heavy electric motor in there. So that's it. Couple hours. You decide. You want to strip them, or you don't. If you feel like it's worth it, you go ahead and do it. Hopefully, uh, I could be of some help to you. And uh, if not, you know, you know what you can do. Nah, I'm just kidding. Now, what you want to do after you get done, and uh, it's the afternoon, it's raining, you want to walk right over to your free fridge, and uh, you want to open it up, and oh, what do we got in here? Oh yeah. Shit, it's fucking gorgeous. Oh, yeah. You guys need to kayak. So the last like hour or two of ride was like, fuck, I didn't feel good. And like all of a sudden it like I got off the highway and there was shade over the clouds. It got cool and I'm like, coming through the water. Oh, fucking killer ride, huh? Yeah. Kick my ass. Hey Jackie. Hey. That's alright. I'm gonna sit in the shade, that's alright. I feel like fucking oh, yeah. all over. Man. Pretty shaded up here. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Bacon pizza? Oh, I'm good for right this second. I'm like dizzy from the heat. Yeah, oh, yeah. With it up here. yeah. I got my fucking passport in. Fucking, fucking around. You're gonna see how crazy, too. Look how fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. Whew. They don't mind.
front of them no. was like loose, like I'm ready to fall off. Why, you think the wind and everything is just pulling the connection little by little by little? Yeah, no straps that, you know, it's the same thing. You, after, you know, a few miles, you're going to stop, give them a little tighten up, you know? Yeah, I only did that the one time, but it was, it was tough yeah. when they did it. It's just all right now. Can add it up. No weed in my car. never know, would you want to just stop me and cuss me and go through all this shit? I don't know. It's pretty interesting, the whole get-up, you know? See ya.